Okay, so he's just got his back turned to us at the moment. If we could just... Ah, there we are, see? There's his head. You can see the hand. He's got an itchy nose. If you calling it, hey? Sorry, bad habit. The test will be able to determine the sex of your baby, though. Would you like to know? No. Try to relax. That's a good, strong heartbeat. Baby looks really healthy. Are you OK? Or do you want to take a break? I want my mum. Just go, please. You're right, babe. I'm fine. Come on. I think we should just sit down for a bit because the taxi's not for a few minutes. <clears throat> Surprised you even wanted me in there. Well, you're better than Andy. I'm not sure he'd have waited to be asked. He'd have hulked his way through that wall after one minute. No matter what he says. This isn't easy. I hate it. What am I going to do if it's not a match? What am I going to tell Sarah? Uh, listen. We will worry about that if it comes. <sighs> Debbie. You forgot this. Let's go. Young lady, you're going to take it easy and I'm going to put the kettle on. Get you being all maternal. Stay right there. I will get this. Come on, Andy, you've got to be joking. She's only just walked in. Yeah, and I'm really not in the mood for a row right now. I know that. I, I came to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said all that. No, you shouldn't. No, it's like fun getting accused of being a murderer. Debbie, I'm sorry. I really am. It was bad timing. How did it go? It was fine. Is this... Yeah. I what you hadn't have seen that picture. Did you see his face? He was just surprised. Like you when you saw the scan. I did see, you know. I just, I hadn't really thought about it like that. What, that, that it's alive? Well, Andy has. It's already getting way too attached. Right, well, you'll just have to unattach him then. I just don't know if I can cope being the only one fighting him. You won't be. But you didn't mean me, did you? Mum, don't. Is he still leaving tomorrow? How can we just forget it? Come on, you've already said that you can't do this on your own. So what? Just make him stay. Beg him to stay with me out of pity. So you think he stayed all this time because of that? After everything you've put him through? See, this is what I mean. I'm sick of apologising for what I've put him through. I'm trying to save Sarah's life. And all the time, it's about what I've put him through. I'm supposed to feel guilty for not thinking about his feelings. Oh, now, come on. You know what I'm talking about. Listen to me. I refuse to believe that he'd have stayed around if he wasn't absolutely besotted with you. No, he stayed around because he was guilty. What's he got to be guilty about? You dumped him. He stayed because he loves you and because you love him. It's not as easy as that. Yes, it is. If you love him, you have to sort this. And you've got until tomorrow. <laughs>